Kim Kardashian's crazy transformation. She is generally regarded as one of the world's most beautiful women, and let's be real, she is. <laughs> she has always been stunning. However, despite that, she has also had a very dramatic yet subtle transformation over the years. And it's basically been swept under the carpet and no one, including Kim herself, really seems to acknowledge it. Now, Kim's influence can't always be said to be positive, and that's okay. I feel like this is where we go wrong when we put other human beings on pedestals as being so much more important and beautiful and influential than anybody else, and we expect them to be perfect, and then when they're not perfect and they inevitably fuck up, everyone is shocked by it in saying that. It is important to acknowledge the effect that Kim has had on humankind everywhere since she burst onto the scene back in like 2007. There are women who literally spend their entire life savings to look like Kim Kardashian as they truly believe that she is perfection personified. Like look at the case of Sherry Lee who has spent over $60,000 to change her naturally gorgeous self to look more like Kim. Sheree herself says, Kim has always been an inspiration to me and she is the most beautiful woman in the world in my eyes. Sherry has since gone on to have three BBLs, two boob jobs and several facial reconstruction surgeries, all to look more like Kim Kardashian. Heck, you could even argue that the effect that Kim has had on her own younger sisters has been somewhat detrimental. When you look at the very dramatic physical transformations that they have had at such young ages, and in a strange way, it's almost as though Kendall and Kylie in particular are trying to alter their looks to look more like Kim. Could it simply be sisterly love? Or have Kim's little sisters felt the pressure of being in such an aesthetically obsessed family and as such felt the need to change their looks to better resemble their beautiful and successful older sister, without whom them themselves would likely never have even achieved fame and fortune to begin with. So Kimberly Noel Kardashian was born in 1980, making her 42 years of age now. On the surface, looking at Kim, it wouldn't appear as though she's had much done in the way of surgery or tweakments. She doesn't necessarily look overdone or overfilled or botched, but as you guys can see at a quick glance, she absolutely has changed a lot since she became famous. And yet Yes, a lot of that would have to do with aging. I mean, she was 27 when she became famous and now she's 42. So that is a long time and your face is inevitably going to change a lot in those years. But is your nose going to shrink? Are your lips going to get bigger? Are your cheeks going to get fuller? No, actually. In fact, quite the opposite usually happens. <laughs> Fun fact, your nose and ears actually never stop growing your whole life. So what has Kim done to number one, halt the aging process and number two, stealthily alter her appearance in such a way that she is now generally regarded as like the epitome of the beauty standard and no one really noticed. I personally think that Kim has changed just about every aspect of her appearance, but we'll start with her nose. I do think that Kim's nose has been tweaked in a very dramatic but sneaky way. So that on the surface, it looks like she hasn't touched it. That is just the nose she was born with. But when you look into it deeper and you compare original Kim to current Kim, you'll see that her nose is actually very different. If you look at these pictures of original Kim before she achieved worldwide fame, you'll see that her nose was quite a distinctive shape. From side on, you can see that her nose sloped out and downwards, which is what mine does too, with a distinguishing hump on the bridge. According to an article I found, these beautiful people are Kim Kardashian's Armenian ancestors. And I quite believe it. The family resemblance is really strong and I think it's such a sacred and magical thing to have such a strong physical tie with your ancestors. As you guys can see, the resemblance between Kim's ancestors and her dad Robert Kardashian is super, super strong and that absolutely has filtered down to Kim as she in turn very much resembles her father. It's not shocking, it's kind of how genetics work, but I personally love it and I find it so interesting. It makes it a lot easier to block out the unrealistic beauty standards and appreciate your own unique characteristics when you can actually see why you have them and where they came from. Like look at the crazy resemblance between this ancestor and Courtney, for example, and this young man and young Kim. I love this stuff. Kim's original nose was very similar to the nose of her Armenian ancestors, but her current nose, not so much. So what happened? Well, Kim's genetics haven't changed, so my guess would be that she underwent a surgical nose job to change the slope of her nose, refine her nostrils, and give her nose a more upturned tip. However, an interesting thing to note is that to an extent, she chose to keep the hump on the bridge of her nose. Why would she do this? Why bother going to the pain, effort, and expense of a nose job if you're gonna leave the hump on the bridge of your nose anyway? Well, it's actually quite common in Hollywood for famous celebrities to refine their noses, but leave a small, 
imperfection to make it seem as though they are au naturel. Hailey Bieber is rumored to have done this as her nose does appear to have been refined and yet it still tilts to the right. Blake Lively slimmed down her nose and yet kept the original shape, just made it smaller. Kim's own sister, Kendall Jenner, who also seems to have had her nose refined, but still kept the original slope to her nose so as not to make it look obvious, like her sister Chloe, for example, who has had a nose job and totally went to town. Or Bella Hadid, who changed her entire appearance when she changed her nose. Kim has kept her alleged nose job subtle in comparison, and it's worked, as most people still don't think that she's had one. But I personally think when you compare pictures like this of original Kim and this of current Kim, it's pretty darn obvious. Of course, Kim denies having had a nose job. <laughs> then there is Kim's changing lip shape. Now let's be clear, Kim has always had full lips. And full lips are the current Western beauty standard, so that works well in Kim's favor. You would think then that there would be no need for Kim to change her lips, right? Wrong! As you can see in these older pictures compared to these pictures, it appears that Kim absolutely has changed her lips, but again, in a very subtle way. But it hasn't always been subtle. Just like with most others who get lip filler, sometimes it's easy to get a little bit over-enthusiastic and get just a little bit too much put in, and bam, you have the dreaded duck pout. As you guys can see from the side, Kim has at times been a duck too. And Kylie. It happens. It's not permanent. It's not the end of the world. It does go down. It's okay. But it's annoying. And it makes it very, very obvious that you've had lip filler. And if you, like him, are trying to make out like you've never had filler or never had any tweakments, it can be really annoying because it makes it really obvious that you have. Another aspect of Kim's facial appearance that I think has made a huge difference to the way that she looked before versus how she looks now is that she has changed her smile. What a random thing to do considering her natural smile was so bloody beautiful. And now her smile is just very generic Hollywood. It's like she slowly over the years began erasing her individuality and quirks. In her older pictures, her smile was very similar to that of her sister Courtney and her dad Robert, but now? I mean, it's still beautiful, let's be honest, but it's just different. She may have changed her smile by getting lip filler, but I think it's more likely that she's underwent a lip lift and Botox in her filtrum to drop her top lip. Now, what the f*** does that actually mean? <laughs> well, a lip lift is when a surgeon will go in and cut a portion of the skin between your lip and your nose, pull your top lip up, and then sew you back together. It means that your top lip will look fuller and poutier naturally without the telltale lip filler look. Now, Botox in the filtrum is actually a super common procedure. It takes like two minutes to do. It's not difficult. And that's where an injector will put a bit of Botox between your top lip and your nose, which will relax the muscle there. And as such, when you smile, your top lip won't be pulled up so high. Like for example, Kim's old smile, where you could see her whole row of top teeth. Now when she smiles, her top lip sits lower and covers the top of her teeth. A lot of people do this procedure if they feel like their smile is too gummy, so perhaps Kim felt the same? I do think that for a while she went too far with the Botox and the relaxing of the top lip because the gap between her nose and top lip just kept getting bigger and bigger and she honestly stopped looking like herself for a while. Kim's smile also used to pull down at the corners of her mouth, the same as her sister Courtney and her dad and her granddad, and it was lovely. Now it doesn't. I'm not entirely sure how this change occurred, but I would suspect potentially Botox in the corners of her mouth to stop the muscles pulling down when she smiles. I don't know if any of you guys have any theories as to how one achieves this. I am intrigued. Let me know in the comments. Then we have Kim's cheeks. Not her butt cheeks, but these things. Kim, the cheeky sod, even goes as far as to deny having filler. Excuse me, what do you take us for? It's quite clear to me that she has totally dabbled with her fair share of filler and that's okay. Getting tweakments, getting filler, heck, getting cosmetic surgery, it's not a crime. We are all free to do whatever the heck we want with our faces and it's not something to be embarrassed about or ashamed of. To me anyway, it seems that Kim has definitely had her cheeks filled. Whether it be with filler or implants, which in fact would mean that technically she's telling the truth when she denies cheek filler, her cheeks have definitely been plumped. Looking at pictures of original Kim to current Kim, her cheeks were always lovely and full, but now they have that telltale high stretched full look. Then there is Botox. Now Kim claims that she is in fact allergic to Botox and that whilst she has dabbled with Botox in the past, she now has chilled on it. 
I call bullshit. <laughs> you can literally see the telltale signs of someone who has utilized the muscle relaxing and tightening effect of a lot of Botox. When Kim tries to cry, she literally struggles to frown and scrunch up her eyes as her muscles have been paralyzed and she can't do it. Sometimes she'll have one eye squinting and the other not, which can happen from Botox too. But sometimes one brow appears a little bit higher than the other and it's as though she can't level them, which happens to be another side effect of Botox. Her mum, Chris, often has the same side effects, which is normal to be honest. Botox is great. It's effective and it's minimally invasive, but it isn't without side effects. There's also rumors that Kim has undergone a facelift, which I don't know if I agree with. I think it's highly possible knowing how obsessed Kim is with her looks and keeping a youthful appearance. And there are accounts online who are adamant that you can see telltale scars that prove she's had a facelift. But I mean, 42 is not old. <laughs> it's not surprising to me that Kim looks young because in the grand scheme of things, she is. This is not a woman in her 80s that we're talking about. So I don't know about that one. I think it's highly possible and probably quite likely, but I'll reserve judgment on it because I don't think it's quite as obvious as her other tweakments and surgeries. Now you have to ask yourself, why would someone who was as naturally gorgeous, like naturally stunning as Kim Kardashian go to such efforts and expense and pain to alter her looks to this extent. Was she, like Bella Hadid, subconsciously trying to erase her ethnicity? I think that she probably thinks that her worth is based on her looks and that if she were to begin to show the signs of aging or to lose her good looks in any way, that she would no longer be considered successful or beautiful. And she just frankly wouldn't be able to handle that because being beautiful and being successful is basically all she's ever known. And if she thinks that her worth as a person is based on her looks, then aging or gaining weight or not fitting the current beauty standard would simply be unacceptable to her. But the thing is, Kim is so much more than her looks. Like she is a successful businesswoman. She is a mother. She is someone's daughter. She is a sister. Her looks aren't her. They are surface level. And I just hope that she knows. And I do. And I hope that she knows that she is so much more than her looks because that would be such a superficial, downright depressing way to live.